Hey everyone, Mr. Koss here. I want to show you four great online virtual instruments that you can use to make music at home. Um, I realize many of you may not have instruments at home, but don't worry with, with some of these sites that I'm about to show you, you can get to playing music here in no time. And so these are just some uh, websites that you can explore on your own and see what you can come up with. Okay, so the first one you may already know, this is Chrome Music Lab. I've used this many times in my classes before, and it's just a collection of music experiments. And I'm gonna show you just one of them here really quick. This is the rhythm. So I can tap on the instrument and it'll make a sound, and I can actually create a pattern and press play. And I can make it as complicated or as simple as I want. And then they have different configurations of instruments here. It's nice that it does have a drum set. So there's a collection there. So most of you may already know about that, so I'm gonna just move right on to the next one. Okay, the next one is called Virtual Musical Instruments. And really, this is a collection of pretty uh, more realistic instruments here. So you have guitar, pan flute, bongos, piano, drums, and a tuner. So I'm gonna go to the virtual drums here and I can click on the part of the drum and it'll make sound. But what I can also do, check out this key down here. On the keyboard, uh, you can use it to actually play the drum. So if I press zero, I have the kick. If I press one, I have a hi-hat. Two is a snare. So I can create a drum beat right there. All right, so there you have a drum set and you can check out some of the other, other different instruments that they have. They have a piano, guitar, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, the next one is MIDI City. Now this one's a little more complicated, but it can give you a lot of cool options here to explore different sounds. So right up here at the top, I have a collection of percussion instruments. I can even press on my keyboard the numbers. Right, and down here I have synth, as in synthetic, instruments, right? So I can actually choose the different sound. Uh, I'm gonna do a synth lead, square synth. And it it's organized like a little keyboard. And I was looking at this today, it looks like I can choose a play along track. I'm gonna go old school here. So you can kind of play around with that. You could, there's, looks like there's tons of different tracks here. See if you can create your own melodies and beats to go along with, uh, to go along with that. Um, yeah, so that is MIDI City. Okay, this next one is called WebSID. And again, I have my keyboard up here and it has a collection of synth sounds that I can use. <laughs> And I can modify those sounds down here so you can explore them a little bit. Um, you can change the attack on it so it starts slower. If I turn it down, it starts right on it. Okay. What's cool about this one is I can record it. So if I press this little record button right here. I press stop and it should play back. So now 
now you can record it. So this is something else that you can explore. This gives you more options here. So I can clear it. Okay, so that is WebSid. And as uh, a little bonus, I'm gonna post a link on here to uh, a, I'm gonna post a link to a website that has, where I found some of these actually, but it has a ton of virtual instruments that you can check out. So as I scroll down, here's that WebSID, there's Webo Tribe, there's the MC101, I'm not sure what those mean, but you can check it out. Oh, Monophonic Synthesizer. Um, so you can check all these out. Most of the, yeah, all these are free and they're just different sound making machines that you can check out. So check them out, see which ones you like, what you don't like, and uh, let me know how that goes. Have fun.